Hey y'all, it's Dan and welcome to uh, my channel. Uh, today I've got two things to share. First of all, it's great to be back. I haven't been here for a while. Um, been just been running the pandemic and whatnot. So uh, two things I'm gonna share today. I recently went to the Mayo Clinic and I've got some uh, test results that I'm gonna share. And then also I've got some big news and I'm exciting news that I'm doing some work with one amyloidosis voice to help the amyloidosis community. So let me go over my numbers real quick with you. So uh, I'm just gonna read them off some notes so I get the, uh, the notes correct. My heart rate, uh, 54 uh, beats per minute is my resting heart rate. Um, blood pressure, 103 over 61. My ECG showed a sinus rhythm with ectopics, it's called E-C-T-O-P-I-C-S, sinus rhythm with ectopics. So what that means is, is that essentially a sinus rhythm, which is normal with abnormalities, which means it's arrhythmia. So I go from like AFib to arrhythmia. I'm rarely in sinus rhythm, with, which, which, is, which is normal. I'm, I'm never there, I shouldn't say never, but rarely. So anyway, that's nothing new really for me. Uh, the two big markers that we test uh, are NT Pro BNP, which is the heart efficiency because I've got cardiac amyloidosis. The amyloidosis affected my heart. So normal would be about 88. Um, lower is better. And when I got diagnosed in 2017, I was at 1700, uh, which is not good. Uh, so I measured at 616 a couple weeks ago, which is, you know, could be better, obviously. Uh, but the previous measurement, uh, three or four months below, before that, I was at 678. So anyway, small improvement, uh, but I've been doing some different things, which is great. I'll share those later at some point. Uh, my Lambda, Lambda Light Free, my Lambda Free Light Chain Proteins, the Light Chain Proteins, which we measure, which is the other marker. Um, normal would be 2.63. I was at 3.06, which, okay, not, not too bad, pretty close. So if you get, uh, if you, if you're going to see some other, um, if you have amyloidosis and you're getting tested somewhere else like Stanford or maybe some other one, they might measure it like, instead of saying normal is 2.63, it might be 26.3. So it just moved the decimal point. So Mayo does it 2.63, it might be 26 for you. So anyway, I was at 2.63, normal is 3.06, which ain't not bad. So for me, status quo, uh, well, status quo is, is pretty good for me right now. So anyway, that's where I'm at, feeling blessed about that. Now, what I'm most excited about is I've recently teamed up with one amyloidosis voice to help them with their patient, their amyloidosis patient outreach program. It's called their patient education and assistance. Uh, program to where we each week we do a basically a zoom meeting an outbound zoom meeting uh, where we bring on an expert to talk about amyloidosis and help amyloidosis patients through their journey so just this wednesday uh, i was the moderator and i uh, introduced an expert dr heather landau from sloan kettering and uh, she's a hematologist and oncologist and she works specifically with amyloidosis patients and she talked about how to assemble a, a care team uh, which was really, really valuable. So uh, we had uh, 75 register for uh, last Wednesday's event. So we have people on the Zoom. Uh, she's given uh, the, the, uh, the portion. And then of course I'm moderating and then I'm generating uh, conversation. So I'm sharing what happened to me. And then of course I'm integrating other people into the mix. So it was a great, great learning experience. People got a lot of value out of it. So this week uh, I'm gonna read here from uh, it's June 26, which is this coming Wednesday. I am doing um, the event. The moderator is Stacy Goodman. I'm the presenter, and I'll be presenting on uh, two skills uh, every amyloidosis patient uh, needs to adopt to help them on their journey. So as you know, um, psychology is everything. And so when you're going through amyloidosis, managing your psychology is so important and keeping that positive mental attitude because without that, it's very, very difficult on your journey. So I'm gonna share two specific skills that I adopted that'll help you on your journey with amyloidosis. So I put the flyer up, take a look at it, uh, register with the link that's down below uh, in the comment section. And if you know somebody else with amyloidosis that might not be uh, aware of this, please let them know, share it because we're doing it every single week. And uh, we'd love to have you on board, get to know some of the other people. It's great for, for you 
to interact with other amyloidosis patients and I'll be on there as well. And I look forward to, to meeting you and getting to know you as well. So I'll see you there on the 26th, which is this coming Wednesday. Uh, and keep up the good work, stay positive, and um, I'm here with you on your journey.